Tonight, we have the girls at boys highlights from Houston Academy as they were hosting the Wicksburg Panthers and we're picking up the girls game midway through the third quarter. HA's already got a pretty big lead, but Wicksburg, they're trying to cut into that and make it a little bit closer as Case Kelsey Ellingberg converts from deep. But Houston Academy says if you can do something, we can do it as well. Not so fast, bringing it right up the court. Abby Caldwell right there matching Ellenberg's three with one of her own. And the Raiders, they look off the, to finish off Wicksburg quickly after the miss by the Panthers. H gets it, goes all the way down the court. And you know what? You got a quick fast break, put it in down low, but they can't convert the easy look. But that Mrs. Caldwell, she's there for the rebound as well as the putback. And she had quite the hot stretch to end this one. And the Raiders knew it, feeding her the ball in the post once again. And 15, yes, ma'am, she converts. Houston Academy wins the girls' game at home 36 to 21 over Wicksburg. But now it is on to the boys' game. Wicksburg, they're not trying to let the get HA get those two wins on the evening, trying to do what they can to get the split. But it was an intense one from the jump. Both teams want to start hot, but it would be Wicksburg storming out of the gate. Dalton Taggart finds his man, Devontae White, who goes all the way. And number one says, thank you very much. White now running the point, gets the pick from Zeke Kelly, who rolls to the hoop. And White finds him on a great dish, and that is easy as one, two, three for Wicksburg. They started out on an 11 year old run, and this was a part of it. Mr. White going coast to coast. We know he could dunk. There he says, I'm just going to take the easy lane, and he converts. But Houston Academy, they're going to get it going on offense. That is Tim Thompson with the nice runner to cut into the lead. However, Devontae White, he left his imprint all over the first quarter, grabs the board, takes it, flies down the court, doesn't need any help, and he knocks down the two-handed finish. And what is a Wicksburg highlight without Sawyer Rivenbark? Gets it in the corner, splits two defenders, crosses over, gets it. Great pass there to Zeke Kelly. That was a great pass, and he gets the easy do. And Wicksburg goes on to win big on the road, 69 to 54. 